Students of Primary 5, School St. Joseph. Today we're going to talk about the third lesson in Unit 1, which is called Magnetism. The magnetism, or the magnet, has a story. 2,000 years ago, the ancient Greeks, they found a type of black rocks. It has an attractive force to any material that made of iron. Any material made of iron, it can be attracted to the magnet. It's called or located in an area named Magnesia. That's why this black rock, we named it as a magnet. The types of magnet, we have two types, natural, it means it's found in nature, and artificial, which means it's a man-made. The natural magnet. It's a black rock called magnetite, and it's one of the iron ores, one type of the magnet, or the iron. The artificial magnet, it has too many shapes. Like the horseshoe magnet, like the bar magnet, like the ring magnet, or the magnetic needle. We can classify materials into magnetic and non-magnetic. The magnetic materials, like iron, nickel, steel and cobalt, are the materials which are attracted to the magnet. The non-magnetic materials, they are the materials which are not attracted to the magnet. What are the properties of magnet? Number one, the magnet has two poles. As we can see, it has a north pole and south pole. The north pole is red, its color is red, and south pole, its color is yellow, is uh, blue. What are the magnetic poles? They are the regions of magnet at which the most of the attraction force is concentrated. The magnet as force disappears at the middle of the magnet, so the magnet is very strong at its poles, the south and north, and the magnetic force it's zero, it's vanished, it's not found at the middle of the magnet. Number two, the freely moving magnet always takes a fixed direction, north and south direction. One pole refers to north and the other pole refers, refers to south, south. Number three, the like or similar magnetic poles repel each other, but the unlike magnetic poles attract each other. As we can see in the picture, south and north attracted to each other south and south or north and north they repel each other number four the magnet is surrounded by an area called the magnetic field the area around the magnet in which its force appears it's the space around the magnet in which the effect of magnetic force appears. The magnetic force. The ability of the magnet to attract the magnetic materials existed in its field or in its space or in its area. Magnet and compass. This is a compass. The compass consists of the magnetic needle and this is a light and a small magnetic needle that spin freely around a fixed axis. What is its importance? It is used to identify the main four directions and I think you know them. You know the main directions north, south, east and west. Thank you and see you in another lesson.